Hello geometry students. We are going to um, talk about representing sample spaces and with probability. And we're going to be able to use tables and tree diagrams to represent sample spaces. That is our main goal in this video. So from last year or in previous years, you might have been able to, um, or you might have seen these words before. Um, if you haven't, it might be a good idea to write them down. So an experiment is a situation involving chance that leads to results called outcomes. Um, so in the case that in your book, it talks about in a football game, flipping a coin at the beginning. So the experiment is tossing the coin. The outcome then is heads or tails. That would be your outcomes. And the event is one or more outcomes of an experiment. So one event of this experiment is the coin landing on tails. So another, and I see a typo in here, hold on. It's not sample paste, it's sample space. There we go. So another um, vocab word is the sample space. So the sample space of an experiment is a set of all possible outcomes. So what can you get from the experiment? That is what we're going to talk about today. And we're going to talk about different ways to represent those sample spaces. So suppose a coin is tossed twice. Represent the sample space for this experiment by making a table and a tree diagram. And I will show you how to do that. So let's talk about the table first. So when we organize our table, um, we have the different outcomes. We have heads and tails. This would be your first, um, your first trial here. And this would be your second. So this would be flipping the coin the first time, and this is flipping the coin the second time. So what can you get? What are the possible outcomes? You get heads and heads here. You could get tails and heads. You could get heads and tails. And you could get tails and tails. So this would be your sample space. These are the possible outcomes all the possible outcomes that you could get. So when you do a tree diagram, you start out with um, the outcomes. And you don't have to start out with this word. Your book does this. So when you start out with the outcomes here, the first toss is going to be the first branches of your tree. So the first toss, you could either get heads or tails. And then the second toss, um, you could either get heads or tails. And then after this, you could also get heads or tails. So this would be your first toss and then your second toss would be heads or tails. So this is the table and this is the tree diagram. Um, I'm a big fan of the tree diagram. I really like it, but tables are good too. Um, so make sure you pause the video and write these two examples down. Okay, let's look at another example. A coin is tossed and then a number cube is rolled. Represent the sample space for this experiment using a table and a tree diagram. So here, instead of two coins, we have a number cube, which is like a die, numbered 1 through 6. And then we also have a coin. So see if you can set up your table on your own. So when you set up your table, you should have your outcomes of the number cube here, and then the outcomes of the um, of the coin right here. So now we can go ahead and list out our sample space. So we could get um, we could get a one and heads, we could get two and heads, three and heads, and so on. Oops. Didn't want to do that. Got ahead of myself there. And so your second row would be with tails. Alrighty. Now when you make your tree diagram, 
when you make your tree diagram, you're going to have your outcomes listed first. Okay. And then, so the first time around, and you can start with the smaller of the two first if you want. It doesn't matter what you start with. Um, we could do heads and tails. And then after that, after you get heads, you could also get a one, a two, a three, a four, a five, and a six. And then from here, from your tails, you could also get a one, a two, a three, a four, a five, or a six. So then what you could do is then list them all out, list out your um, uh, your sample space. So like for this one we got heads and one. This one we get heads and two. This one we get heads and three and so on. So then you have your sample space listed at the end of your tree. And my tree's getting kind of bendy here. That's okay. Not enough room. Make sure you have enough room. Tails in two. Tails in three. Tails in four. Tails in five. And then tails in six. So that would be at the end of your tree here. That would be your sample space. All right, so here is one last example. Feel free to do this on your own. And um, yeah, pause the video, and when you unpause it, we'll get the answers up here for you. All right, so try this one on your own. Okay, so your table should look something like this. Um, the red short sleeve, red long sleeve, blue short sleeve, blue long sleeve. This is your sample space. So these are all the possible outcomes. And then your tree diagram should look something like this. If you did do short sleeve, long sleeve first, that's fine. But what I have in blue here is what you should end up with as well on your tree, on your tree diagram. So that's all I have for you today. You guys have a great day, and um, we'll see you in class. Adios.